Hey, uh, future fans here, I just want to say this video is a re-upload, I uploaded it last night, but half the video ended up being frozen with audio, and I was like, oh crap, right? And so, uh, this is the re-upload, and just so you guys know, the challenge is still going on, look at the video for the challenge on my channel, and join the Discord if you're not already in it, and you might be able to win $50, a gift card of your choice. Alright, cool. Hey, what's up guys, I'm Uncle Vins, and welcome back to Automation Campaign, where we are working with the company called Northwest. And as you can see, we're making 3,000 cars a month, I guess. And we already have about $100 million more than we had. And now one of the things you have to work with in this uh, campaign mode, right, is uh, the more money you have in your bank, the more money you get taxed. Right? So the tax man shows up and he's like, hey, I want some of that. So, as long as we keep our company valuation pretty high up, but our profits... Our profits can be as good as they can, but we gotta keep spending money. And seeing as our car... We're utilizing 100% of our factory. So... I think what we could do is just add on to the factory a little bit, both of them. Right? And, uh... Just take a year or so. Or... Actually, yeah. Wait, let's wait till 1949. Or actually, we can do it right now. When did this car come out? 1946 and now it's 1948. Actually, we'll let it tick over to 1949 and then we will start doing that. Right? No current marketing activities. We'll start marketing, man. But uh, as soon as it hits 1949, we're going to add a new facelift to the Super 4. And then we're going to make the factory bigger. Hey, who, who's, hey, I didn't say you could keep going. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. It, it wouldn't pause for some reason. Oops. Our factory is a little bit too overstressed. So, what I'm going to say is we're going to make a new facelift. Uh, I already said all that. Whatever. Okay, let's do that. Real quick. Edit project. And new facelift. And this is going to be the MK2. Sure, why not? And we're going to have to redo all this. Yes. So, how are we getting... Okay, so we're still getting pretty good in our uh, our things that we wanted to go into. But we can make it better now. So we can edit these cars and give them automatic transmissions. Whoa! So you're telling me that you don't gotta shift? You don't gotta do it yourself? What the heck? <laughs> okay, do we got better brakes? I want better brakes. No, we brakes that still don't exist. Okay. Never mind. No brakes here. How about... Automatic transmission. Yeah, two speed. Wait. Oh yeah, they like the two speed. They like the two speed a lot. And because it's a two speed, we can up this a lot for better drivability. Yes. Yes, quite. All right, come on. No more wheel spin. I don't want any. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Fine. All right, and I'm not going to mess with this. I don't think they would do anything different to it. The only thing that probably would change is just... Just like the transmission they put in it. And actually, maybe... Depending... Do they want a radio now? Yes, they... No, they don't. They do not want a radio. No radios here. Okay, no radios. Radios are illegal in this timeline for some reason. How about, do you guys want... Actually, no, we're not going to change any of that. Alright. There we go. That's cool. There's that version done. The new version of the sedan. And now the the wagon... The wagon has to be a little bit more wagony. You know what I mean? What does it even look like? Oh. Kind of looks strange. Wait, what? Oh, I've... Uh, what?! Okay, whatever. That confused me. So, wagon. Do you also want an automatic? Yes, you definitely want an automatic. Okay, wow. Uh, now you almost have 400 score. So, uh, how about family utility budget? Would you like a radio? No, you do not want a radio. Okay, understandable. How about ride height? 
I get 400? Uh, 400, let's see, 400, 400! Nice. And it still looks alright, kind of off-roady now, but, you know, who cares? Okay, so this is... I'm not going to change the name. They're not going to be the replacement. They're just going to be the same names they had. Now, we got to go check out this engine and make a facelift of the engine, yes. And it's the only engine we're using, so... Got to mess with this a little bit. You are not the 46 replacement. You are the 46-2. or two, Yeah, 2. There we go. Now, you probably don't need much. We just kind of want to make the reliability better, so how about... I don't know, maybe just... Can we do compression? We still like, we still got 60 horsepower, I mean... How much horsepower do we really need in this situation? How about twin carb? Whoa, 68 horse... Nah, we're not, I'm not really going to mess up this too much. This engine's pretty alright as it is, so... Kind of leave it. Just wanted to redo it just in case there was something like crazy I could have done it to fix it up. Okay. So, for this, we can make the factory a level 2. Yes, and then we're going to add a QA testing to it. We're kind of going to spend a lot of money here. Hopefully we don't uh, kind of ruin ourselves by touching this stuff. Yeah, we'll complete that. And then we go back here. Go into the factory here, and we're going to make this a level 2 factory, also with QA testing. And then, uh... Huh. Maybe I'll slap on a staff facility too, why not? There we go. I, I don't like messing with all that because I don't know what any of it does. Sorry, I'm dumb. If you know what it does, please tell me. Or you could join the Discord and tell me. Like, personally, be like, yo, Vince, the hell are you doing? You're doing it wrong. Oh, no, no money here. Oh, there's the money. We're going to make some money from this. Nice. Yeah, there's, there's enough money to be made here. But also because we didn't do any of this. Yeah, we can put like a 15% deposit down. So give me all your money. Okay, cool. So, let's do that. Hopefully this doesn't ruin our entire thing. And if it does, I'll be kind of angry. Okay, so it's only going to take until 1951. And until then, it should keep selling. Right? Yes. It, it will keep selling until it redoes itself. Understandable. Okay, they're ordering them. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Oh, look, we're actually still making money. Ah! Ah! Oh, no. Ah! We lost all the money we made. Ah! Okay, we're, we're chilling. Don't worry. Start making money. Yeah, there it is. There's the money. Okay, now we're licking mess money, though. What the heck? Oh, man. I shouldn't have done that. Actually, wait, we're selling more cars, though. That's good. The more cars you sell, the better it is, right? I feel like 7 million is a pretty alright profit to be making. But as soon as we hit 1953, you know what? You know what we're going to do? Do you know? Oh, it's 1953. Ah! What we're going to do is we're going to make a new car. Now, let's see what we can make. So, this is our car, right? This is the car we currently have. And it's starting to look a little bit dated. I'm probably only gonna I'm not probably not gonna redo it until like 1957 is when we're gonna completely turn this nameplate into a different car. So what we're gonna do right now, because that one's kind of like a family budget car. How about we do a little bit of a more like premium car, like a family premium car, like this look, right here. Let's see. And if it comes out as a luxury car, whatever, I don't care. But we gotta do wings, man. We gotta use one of these. That'd be cool. Let's see. Big boy. Look at this big boy. And it's gonna be steel, ladder, steel, front longitudinal, front, double wishbone, and uh. Hmm. I'm just gonna go with solid axle leaf. 
We can make the suspension really soft, realistically. And now, real, I would think this this engine in this car would be a V8. Because it is, nine. this car is going to come out in like 1954, 1955. So, how about we, uh, F, V8. One, and it's gonna be SC for single carb because it just got to be a V8, you know? Maybe like a smaller one, probably only about 200 or 180 horsepower. That's all we really need. It needs to be smooth though. That's something we kind of want. So we'll do like a not a four, not a four liter, but like maybe like a 4.6, like a Frio 2. Yeah, 4.7, sure. And then it's going to be push rod, obviously, cast. Cast everything. And since this is kind of a smaller V8, we can maybe rev it a little bit higher than we usually do. And it's going to be a single barrel, single carb. And standard. Actually, maybe we can do a two barrel. Actually, maybe, uh, it'll depend. We do everything normal for now. And then we'll do regular lighted gas. Short cast headers, dual exhausts. Do we need dual exhaust? I don't think we need dual exhaust. And then reverse flow and reverse flow mufflers. 13 horsepower, that's where you want. Yep, so fast. There we go. We're still getting a little bit of valve float there. We fix the valve float. Now we gotta check the knocking. Compression. Lower that a lot. Alright. So now we're not knocking, none of that's going on, but our intake is literally killing everything. So if I give us dual exhaust, we gain a lot of horsepower. So I think I just add a twin carb, or uh, just a two barrel, okay, no, single barrel twin carb. Yep. And that gives us 171 horsepower. Nice. I like that. I think that's all we really need for now. So, ST. There we go. This is the SB2C. Sounds like some kind of bootleg 2B2T Minecraft server. Alright. There's our engine. It's kind of heavy, but that doesn't really matter. Relatively expensive. Uh, yeah. Engine is engine. Sounds like an engine. Cool. And then... This has to have an automatic. Obviously, it's just going to have a two-speed slush box. Top speed of 122. Mm, I don't think about that one. I think more like 100. Barely. I mean, it goes... First gear is 38, and second gear is 38 to 99. So, uh... I don't know about that one, Chief. Anyways, it's gonna have cross ply tires, medium compound. Those are kind of small. 14 inch, that looks all right to me. Ooh, two LS front drums. Whoa, going crazy. And then no under tray. We need maybe like a premium and then standard premium, premium. Sure. And then no power steering, standard 50s. Progressive. Okay, progressive is more comforter. Comforter? Comfortable. Why are you so undrivable? Oh, wheel spin, probably. Oh, yeah. We got all kinds of suspension problems. Okay. Be comfortable. That is way too high. I don't care if the car is going to sell better if it's higher, but that just looks dumb. Oh, 85% wheel spin? How about... No. How about no wheel spin, please? Okay, they really want... Okay, fine. Oh, fine, 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 fine. Have more... Have basically one gear. <laughs> Enjoy your one gear. Damn. I need to see what's going on here. Okay, uh, that's actually not too bad. 
There we go. Stop wheel spinning. It's not helping. Okay, what else is your problem? Oversteer? Way too much oversteer. Okay. I I can't really do nothing about that. Sorry. I have the stupid... Oh, I fixed it. Okay. Right. It wants me to increase the the rear tires more i i can't what do you want from me i can't don't hate me maybe if i can i oh hold on we need to touch that there we go yeah big boy how about we do like a nice and yeah, that just that just looks like a like a 90s car with like okay how about this no, that's kind of weird how it's smaller. No, we need bigger, more chrome. No, stop oversteering, man. Quit it. Un more understeer. Understeer is better. Because people who buy this car want understeer more. Okay, uh... Okay, you're a straight-up premium car. Okay. Well, we'll change, we'll change that to our target demographic. Do more uh, comfort. There we go. And then, uh, how about luxury AM radio? Luxury, full luxury. Oh, now it's a luxury car. That kind of makes sense. Oh, if we make it a full-on luxury car, then we're going to be able to, uh, yeah, then we're going to be able to, like, make it more expensive, since it's 93% drivability, so, you know, I mean, uh, desirability, affordability, that's what I meant, okay, and that means, what if I take, uh, some seats away, oh, there's almost 200, Put some quality into that. 215. Nice. 92% affordability. Um, comfort brakes. Well, I kind of killed it. 221. Aerodynamics. That's kind of useless in this situation. Driver aids and safety. Do you want some safety? Yeah. You do want some safety. So uh, let's go look over here. What else we got? If we look at our detail stats, um, drivability. Yeah, they're kind of having problems with drivability. How about comfort? Oh my God, the steering. The steering is bad. Suspension's great. Interior, how about we just do some more interior quality, yeah. And then maybe a tiny bit of body quality. Yeah, 261. I feel like that's good. At least for now. And I'll design this car and I'll be right back. Here we are with the 1953, or probably 1955 when it comes out. This is the Northwest Streamline Lux. Yeah, it's pretty fancy, so let's finish this up. We have 260 score in luxury. And also, a thing about a car like this. Watch this. If I clone it, and we just call it like the Lux Drop. 
We're gonna get like 500 score if I turn if I put just make this a convertible vehicle. Like, watch. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Watch this. Look. Go right here. Boop. Let's see. Let's look at this now. Convertible premium. 300 score. Convertible luxury. Nice. So yeah, always put a... If you make a car like this, always make it like some kind of convertible. And then for a factory, we're going to have to build a new one. We're going to kind of use a lot of our money. But uh, who cares? We're going to buy a medium plot. There you go. I'm a, also, we're going to build it in uh, Gasmia. Since we're an all Gasmian company. And it's going to be a medium one factory with QA testing. Yep. There we go. Yes. And then for the engine, we probably got to make another uh, factory again for the engine. So let's do that. Hello, engine. Thank you. Now we're going to also put this one in Gasmia with a medium plot. Right, what's this engine called? The FV8? Sure, just V8 factory. Just a normal V8 factory. And a medium to iron foundry. QA testing. Yes. And even if this car doesn't sell great, as long as it makes money, it's going to get our reputation up a lot in prestige and reputation. So yeah. And uh, doesn't show any money there, unless we go like this. Yeah, there's money. Okay, we're gonna make money on this. Since this is like a luxury car and it's like 94%, um, where is it? it it's, it's a lot of money. And they're pretty affordable. So I'm only gonna do a 15% on the convertible. And then like, like literally like a 5% like markup. So it's gonna be a 5% profit. Maybe like a 3.1. There we go. Maybe a little bit more. 4.4? Yeah, 4.4. All right, now let's sign off on this. No loans here. And oh, it's gonna, oh no, it's gonna come out in 1959. It's gonna take so long. Um, but that means we're gonna still be making money from this guy while these guys are building. So yeah, until next time, I'm Uncle Vince. I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, bye. Mwah.